Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. In the last few videos, I had talked a lot about cash flow, equity, mortgage, and appreciation. And a few of you reached out to ask about their meanings, so I will go over all of them in this video and explain the meaning of each of them. I will use all of these terms a lot in all my future videos, so it's good that you get to understand them ahead to make sense of the future learning. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This channel is about investing in cash flow real estate, achieve your financial independence, and make an impact. My name is Corian and I am a full-time real estate investor since 2001. I achieved my financial independence when I was 35 years old after consistently investing in cash flow property over the eight years. So what is the residential investment property? It is an investment property that you rent out to other families where they live and raise their children. They are your tenants who will pay you monthly rental payments. Residential property includes all of these types of homes. Condo, townhouse, single family residence, duplex, triplex, and fourplex. Duplex is two units, triplex is three units, and fourplex is four units. They will qualify for the residential mortgage, which allows the investor to lock in the long fixed loan terms, and the interest rates are lower compared to the commercial loan. Next is, what is cash flow? Cash flow is the difference between your monthly rental income and your monthly property expenses. When you rent out your property, your tenant will pay your monthly rental payment. Let's say you rent one property and the rental income is about $2,000 per month. The total monthly expense for this property is about $1,500. What you have left is the monthly cash flow of $500. Most of people say that cash flow is a king. When you are in a in a few years away from your retirement and also it's a safer to buy cash flow property so that you can hold on to the investment long term when the property can sustain on its own and then have the mortgage balance to be in pay off by your tenants. What is a mortgage or a loan? I will use the, this term interchange but both will have the same meaning. A mortgage is a money that you will borrow from a bank or a lender to cover the portions of the purchase price. When you invest in a property, you can borrow up to 80% of the property value. Let's say that you invest in a property that costs you about $100,000 and borrow 80% of it. The mortgage balance is $80,000. The monthly mortgage payment will include this term PITI. P stands for principal. The principal balance will be reduced each month when you make your mortgage payment. I stands for interest. The interest rate that you promise to pay to the bank. T stands for tax. Property tax must be paid each year. And I stands for insurance. The lender wants you to have investment landlord insurance in case there is an emergency that causes the property to be fired or heavy rain that caused the property to be flooded. The property is insured to be rebuilt back to its conditions. If you like this content so far, please make sure to click the like button right there, the button right there and subscribe to my channel. I would also appreciate if you can share this video with your friends and family so this video can be replayed for others to learn. 
Thank you so much for doing it. What are the total monthly expenses for a cash flow property? On top of the mortgage payment that we just discussed, it includes PITI, you need to consider put aside a few of these expenses as well. I usually do about 5% of vacancy expense, the 5% of the monthly rental income. If your rental income is about $1,000, then you put aside like $50 per month in case when the tenants move out and needs a reserve fund that you can use to pay for the mortgage payment why you do not receive a rental income. Put aside 5% of the maintenance expense. You consider putting this money away if there is an issue like a broken microwave or a toilet, you would have this reserve fund to pay for those expenses. 8 to 10% of the property management fee if you decide to have your property managed by a professional property manager. Equity is the money that you belongs to you. The investor when the property value minus the liability balance or a mortgage on the property. Your property value is right now about 150000 You have the loan mortgage balance left of 70000 You have 80,000 equity because 150,000 minus the 70,000 that left is the what left is the equity. So what is appreciation? The property has increased its value since you purchase it. The price difference is what you pay and what is the current value now. For example, in 2010, you bought a property as 100000 Now, in 2022, this property value is at 200000 Your property value has an appreciation of $100,000. Let me know in the comment below if there are other real estate terms that you want me to explain to you. Thank you so much for watching. So let's learn invest and make an impact. Ciao!